Hey guys, my name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, then welcome. Today I've come to you guys to show you how to do a sleek bun, a sleek low bun. So my hair is freshly washed. I'm gonna just quickly detangle. I'm gonna be detangling my hair with this uh, Y2 comb. I'm gonna start from my roots and one up. One eternity later. Okay, so after like an hour, my hair that came out while I was detangling, it's not much. The using conditioner that I'm gonna be using today is the Garnier Fruity Smooth and Treat One Minute Hair Mask. It looks like this. I got it from Amazon. It works really well in my hair. It's the avocado one. It smells amazing. You can use this as a you can use it as a mask, as a conditioner, and as a leave-in. And like I said, today I'm going to be using it as a leave-in. So I'm going to just apply all of that to my hair. And the reason I'm using it as a leave-in is because when you have your hair in like a protective style, you want to make sure you put a leave-in in your hair. Because you want to just make sure that your hair is protected and moisturized while being up or in a protective style. I will make sure to link it down below if you guys are interested in trying it. It wasn't expensive at all. It was maybe $6 and it comes in a lot. So you can't forget them ends, girl. You gotta drench them in. So after all that leaving is in my hair, I'm now gonna take this, uh, I don't know what you call this comb, but it's a skinny comb and I like it because it has the uh, like the very fine to end and it you can part your hair really well with it. I love my part on the left side. I've always done my parts on the left side, so I'm just gonna figure out where I wanna part my hair. As I part it, I kinda wanna curve it. Part and curve. So I have my part. So now after I do my part, I'm just going to be taking this brush. It's a soft bristle brush. I'm just gonna take that and just brush the tops of my hair where I want it to be, you know, to make sure it's all smooth. I'm gonna just brush, brush, brush. Because when you do a sleek bun, you don't want your hair to be all like bumpy. So you just wanna make sure you brush all that out. If you're not doing this hairstyle on wet hair, you this step, like me brushing it, you could just use a blow dryer to like, you know, get your hair as straight as you want it to be. Now that I brushed all that, I want my swoop to be kind of deep. So I'm gonna brush it to my liking, as deep as I want it to be. I want it about here. So now I'm gonna just put all that behind my ear. I'm gonna hold it here so it doesn't come up as I put it behind my ear. So now that I have everything in place, I'm gonna be taking some Eco Styler. I take a little bit. I'm gonna just slide that on my swoop, zoom on, and on this side of my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and just brush all that in there. Now that that's done, I'm going to take this little scrunchie and I'm just gonna um, place my hair in a ponytail, but the ponytail is not gonna be tight. I'm just gonna like, just put it in there so it's, so my hair doesn't go anywhere for now. My baby hair, so I have this where I want it. I'm gonna first take this out cause I like to have my sideburns out. I just like the look. I'm gonna take out my baby hairs. The baby that I want. I'm gonna be taking my Eco Styler again. And I'm gonna just throw in my baby hairs. Lay my baby hairs. It's nothing crazy because I don't really do crazy baby hairs whenever I do a sleek low bun. So after I lay my baby hairs, um, I like to go in with another gel. So just so my baby hairs can stay in place. And the gel that I'm using today is from Prima Nature. Um, it's bomb, it does its job. I got this uh, in a giveaway, but I'm sure you can get it at Walmart, at a beauty fly store, anywhere. The perfect edge is extra hold. It looks like this. 
so yeah i'm gonna just take a little bit of that and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like brush my edges or anything i'm just gonna take some on my finger this much just not that much and i'm just gonna lightly go over just so my edge can stay in place nothing serious and if i somehow mess up my soup in the process then i just go back and take my brush and just brush it right back to where i want it and after it's where i want then i add some uh gel to it and i do the same thing that i did on the other side i just place the gel where i want it so after i do my gel i like to take a spray a hairspray just to spray in my hair to make sure that my hair doesn't move at all while I do this next step. And the hairspray that I'm gonna be taking today is the Rave Four Times Mega. Now with Climber Shield, uh, it looks like this. It's just a hairspray I got from Walmart, nothing special. So I'm gonna shake that up and I'm gonna apply to the front of my hair. So my next step is I'm gonna finally remove the scrunchie. Brush the back so that there's no bumps or lumps. So it's as straight as I need it to be, no lumps, no bumps. And I just take a scrunchie, a black scrunchie, and I just tie it in my hair as low or as high as I want. I want it pretty low today, so I'm gonna do it that low. And my ponytail is looking like that. It's really, really tight. I like my buns tight. I don't like it to be there once again. I'm going to be taking another scrunchie. And now I'm going to make my bun. All I do is twist my ponytail really, really tight. And I'm going to just twist it around like so. And you can make your bun however you want it to be. It's a preference. It doesn't really matter to me as long as it looks nice. If I have a little flyaway out of my bun, then I just take a bobby pin, simple, and I just pin it to my head like so. So I'm pretty much done with the style, but now I want to add like a little swoop right here like I did on this side. So I'm just going to take my hair out. And if you take out too much like I just did, then just put some back and just brush it but like so after that step i'm gonna again take my hairspray i'm gonna spray my hair again just so that i know it won't go anywhere because you know you can never be too sure and especially if you don't know where you're going then yeah so i'm gonna just spray this all over my head this time to make sure nothing goes anywhere no flyaways so i'm gonna just spray it I love the way that hairspray looks because it makes my hair so shiny. You see it? If you enjoyed, then leave a thumbs up. Thanks so much for all the support on my last video. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, then I'll link it down below. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.